Here we have a perfect example of what's called web buckling. Um, we have here a what's called a picture frame tool. It clamps a sample of carbon fiber fabric and allows us to shear the fabric any way we want. Because this fabric is oriented, we'll say that this is the zero degree axis, because this fabric is oriented at 45 degrees, um, we cannot really stretch the fabric. I notice I'm pushing against these ends and the fabric is not moving at all. And that's because I'm trying to stretch the fabric along its fiber length. This is one of the reasons why carbon fiber is so strong. It just does not stretch. Okay, now here's the other thing. If I pull it, if I, if I induce a shear in the other direction, um, we're going to get some massive web buckling. Look at that. So the more I shear it, the greater these bubbles are. Um, that's like a huge, huge deflection. And it's actually re rel relatively easy to, to cause this um, because we're just, we're just buckling the fibers. They're like a bunch of loose noodles. And there you have it, there's some web buckling.